So welcome guys to episode 6 of um, Barber 101. This is Clipper Over Comb. So I'm going to go through with you um, certain angles. Um, so what I've done is you can see I've already put in the fade. I've already outlined the hair. Now what I want to do is before I start cutting the top, I just want to start Clipper Over Comb. So I'm just going to section off what I need to cut off. So with my Kenny Duncan Clipper Comb and my Andis US Pro Allies, um, I'm going to be coming up. My first primary angle is 90 degrees. So I don't come up into the hair. I don't come up and out from the hair. I come, I feel the head shape, lean my comb on the head and work straight up. It's as simple as that and I'll just keep coming up. Now what that does is that creates a block, that creates a square, that creates your shape for the rest of your haircut. So I'll come up, come up to a 90 degree angle, take that off. Come up, come out. Now when you come around, this is the important part about clipper on the comb. If you come here, you're not going to come straight, you're not going to come straight, you're not going to come straight, you're going to come away from the head. You're going to follow the head shape all the way around. So what I tend to do is I tend to put my clip, my clipper, my comb, on the shape of the head first. So that gives me a guide to where it is. So where I'm resting, and then I come up at a 90 degree angle. And I take that off. So, so if I'm Bringing this up here, as I said, if you bring this up at a 90 degree angle, there'll still be a corner here that you won't take off. It'll be a dark patch there. So you still need to follow this head shape. So this would be the back of the head. On the occipital bone, you rest your comb up, you come up at a 90 degree angle. So I'm taking that off. Now with this corner, I'm going to put my comb against the head here. And we're going to come against here. See, what you've got to look out for is, you notice that this side of the comb is rested on the head and this side isn't. You need the comb to be dead in the middle of the head. So you've got each side palming off. That's when you know you're at the center of the head where you can start combing upwards. So if your comb's here and you've got a lot of this clipper here, you might take off a bit too much this side. Vice versa, if your comb's here, you take off, might take a little bit too much off this side. So when you're combing the hair, make sure it's centralized. So you've got this side, it's even to this side. Come up at a 90 degree angle. And then go from left to right. And right to left, depending on which way you're cutting. So again, with this side, we want to, when you're clipper over combing, especially on the top, to blend in from fade to hair. You want to disconnect what you think is fringe and what you think you need to be cutting off. So what I tend to do is from temple, I'll pull down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this bit off here. So if I cut, I if I cut this bit off here and cut this off like that, I'll be cutting Macca's fringe straight off. And we don't really want to do that. He wants to keep his fringe. So from crown to the corner of the hair. That's where I'm going to be taking off. And then in my next few videos, I'm going to be going through how to blend in your sides with your scissors on the top to leave this nice and heavy. So we're going to go through scissoring as well. But in this video, I just want to take you through the basics of clipper over comb. So you see, Again, I'm getting my happy medium, getting my right in the middle, and my comb is dead straight up at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see this. Okay. 
So as you say, bring it up, 90 degree angle. Come across, take the hair off. Comb it back down. Come back up. Make sure you get the angle. Come up, up, come up, up. And now, the hair's gone from here, this is more visible. So I can clip over the comb, so I can bring my comb up into the hair. And your comb should be realistically a number one. So I'm coming up, just coming away from the hair slightly. And whatever hair sticks out, I'm gonna be taking off. As you can see, I'm always bringing my comb out, so I'm not. And like I said in the first video, don't ever, ever feel afraid to not be able to go over a haircut. And when you think you're finished, it's always good to just check it over. And there we have it. So when that's dry, that's gonna dry heavy on top. I've left that crown there because I always keep my customers' crowns nice and heavy. And as you can see from here, this is 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. That's straight up, and that's where you wanna be cutting from. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. All right, I wanna be getting to at least 500 likes on every one of these videos. Um, so make sure you do that, give me a subscribe and have a great day or weekend or whatever you're doing.